Hey, it's Dougie from Valto, and I've been a Microsoft Solution Architect for the past 15 years. In fact, I've actually received the prestigious award of MVP directly from Microsoft. And recently, I've been playing a lot with Microsoft Copilot. In fact, my day job requ requires me to create a lot of marketing content. So I'm going to show you some fantastic tools on how you can use Copilot to create amazing content. So starting off, I have the example of using Copilot to help you generate ideas. Now, I don't know if you're a bit like me, but sometimes just coming up with the first step of an idea, you might have a rough idea of the types of thing that you want, um, but you just need a little bit of help with that kind of ideation. Copilot is fantastic for that. Now you can see in this example here, I've asked it to write a bullet point list of 10 eye-catching webinar titles from Microsoft Copilot. And there we go, it's come up with some fantastic ideas straight away. I can read through those, see which ones that I like and sort of cherry pick them. I could also ask Copilot to refine those ideas if I wanted to, but you can see it's already aware of typical things that you expect to see in webinars, things like having a little punchy thing like unlocking productivity or boosting or uh, maximize. These are all kind of power words you tend to see um, included in webinar titles, which will definitely make things a bit more eye-catching. You can also use Copilot to take the role of or persona of someone. So you could say, for example, please take the persona of a um, marketeer who's got 10 years experience in uh, delivering webinars and review these suggestions. What do you think could be improved and things like that? So you can use it as a way to chat backwards and forth to formulate those ideas um, before you even start creating your content. Um, so the next thing then is um, potentially using it to write content, say for example, like a LinkedIn post. So um, for example, here I've put, I want you to write me a LinkedIn post about Microsoft Copilot. Um, it should follow the following formula. And I've told it exactly the formula that I want it to use, which is I find myself personally have a winning formula when it comes to writing LinkedIn posts. Um, so the first sentence must be eye-catching and emotive to a viewer. It's got to stop them from scrolling down on the LinkedIn feed. Then there should be a bullet point list of, say, five key points. So five things that I want um, it to kind of address. It should then include one sentence um, of true statistics about Microsoft Copilot. So it's going and finding some true information, which it will reference to me where it got it from, but typically it'll be a Microsoft website. Then a call to action to reach out to me for a free Copilot readiness assessment, um, and which basically will then summarize maybe um, and tell people about Valto's free offering, which is fully paid for by Microsoft um, for a readiness assessment for Copilot. So this is now drafting me a response, and you can see um, it's then put this together. It's got my kind of eye-catching um, kind of entry um, in here. Um, but I might want to refine it so I can say, uh, rewrite this to make, um, it, I don't know, uh, sound a bit more um, like the tone of voice um, of, say, Ryan Reynolds or something like that. Now, what I should say is um, you can tell it to take different tones of voice. In this case, I'm using a public figure like Ryan Reynolds, who's very, uh, he's a actor, he's very funny, and he's going to take that type of tone of voice. I've used it for other things as well, like um, I'm a bit of a marketing nerd when it comes to tone of voice, but I quite like there's uh, an energy company uh, in the UK that's called Octopus Energy, and I love their marketing, uh, their messaging, uh, and I've tested it before to say take the tone of voice of those as well. Um, and also, I typically think that it's very obvious when it comes to uh, creating content when something is AI generated. It has a lot of emojis, so I've just asked it there, can it just remove... Um, the, the kind of the emojis so you can see here now it's rewritten this um and again i can always review this i can always ask it to um make any changes and things like that but you can now see it's changed this slide to say ready to have your mind blown mix up meet microsoft copilot productivity on steroids teamwork dream work brain power complexity simplified always ahead so you can see it's a lot more quirky it's a lot more fun um, so you can see a fun fact, Microsoft Copilot is trusted by over 28 million users across Windows app and website. Curious, reach out to me for a free Copilot readiness assessment and see how it can transform your workflow. So you can see the tone of voices has got, has got a lot less kind of AI formal uh, is the best way to describe it. It's a lot more now uh, laid back, a little bit less, um, it's a bit more informal, um, a bit more fun and quirky. Um, so obviously you can totally change this to be however you like and pick up on your kind of types of tones of voice. Um, 
the next thing is around creating imagery. Now, a lot of the time, um, especially smaller marketing uh, departments, won't necessarily have the resource to have a graphic designer and they might have to outsource it, which can get quite expensive. Whereas now with um, Copilot, there's an actual area called Visual Creator, which allows you to go and create not only images, but you can now also create videos as well. Now that does take a little bit longer. Um, so I'm just gonna be showing you how to create, a vid uh, create an image in this case. But I'm just gonna say, create an image of a desk within a home office. On the screen of the computer should be uh, the word Copilot. So if I was creating a Copilot campaign, I can very quickly create some imagery. Now I should also really tell it that's kind of general design, the colors, the themes, things like that, but it will have a good crack at this um, and I can always choose to refine it if I didn't like the colors or the layouts or the options or the style, because there could be a couple of different styles. You could have quite cartoony, you could have quite hyper-realistic, um, but you can see here there's some fantastic examples already, and actually I, I love that. I think the first example it's got I think is the best one, so um, I can easily then grab this, download it if I wanted to, and you can see it ends up in my downloads folder here. And that's a fantastic image that could be used on a blog or a thumbnail of something, um, used as a social post just to grab attention. I think that looks fantastic. I say I didn't need a graphic designer. I didn't need anybody to help me do that. Um, it's just something I could do literally in 30 seconds using Copilot. So our next example then is around creating blog articles. Now I should prefix this with, if you are a marketer, you'll understand about what we call SEO, which basically means... Um, the, the certain things you need to do to make sure that your blog and your content is actually surfaced to the top of things like Google and Bing search engines. And now one of the things which is actually a problem now is that is that these search engines are in fact picking up on AI generated content. So don't just use this as a straight copy and paste. However, what you could do is you could use this as like a first draft. So if you treated it as like it was creating 60 to 70% of the content, and then you go in, manually change it. And most importantly, you need to almost like input your own knowledge, your own experiences, things which are unique to you, your viewpoints, which can't necessarily be found anywhere else on the internet. Um, so the bulk of it could be potentially AI that you've edited, but you do need to make sure it's personalized. So going back to that social media post that we created with LinkedIn, uh, with Copart for LinkedIn, I'm now asking it, now write the above into a thousand word blog article. So it's going to take that same context of that social media post, but it's just going to flesh it out a bit more. So it might even be that social media post is almost like the bait, the teaser of kind of like getting people's interest. And then maybe in the comment section of our LinkedIn post, we might say, hey, check out the full blog article. And then we post it there. As I say, do remember that this is just kind of like a draft. Don't just straight copy and paste and post this into your website because that will get um, ranked down by um, the, the search engines like Google and Bing as potential plagiarism or a minimum AI content, which it doesn't think is as valuable. Cool. Um, so the next thing then is looking at... Um, in fact, actually, I'm just going to quickly stop here um, and just tell you a little bit more about our Valto's free Copal assessment. Now, this is worth up to £3,000, but it's fully funded by Microsoft. Essentially, we're going to look at how ready your company is from a security licensing and optimization point of view to actually deploy and adopt Copilot. We can then talk to you about our adoption packages and how we can ensure that you successfully adopt Copilot. If you're interested in reaching out to us for a free consultation, there's a link in the description below. Next, I want to talk about creating pitch decks. So again, from a marketing perspective, creating things like PowerPoints and other marketing materials that salespeople typically use um, can take a long time. And I don't know about you, but I've lost years of my life to creating PowerPoints. Now with Copilot, it's really simple. We can just say, what uh, product documents do we have about our, say, control documents product? Now, at Valto, our control documents product is built with SharePoint. It's a policy management system, and it's typically used for people that are going for things like ISO 9001 and other ISO, uh, ISO related accreditations. And you can see here, it's then provided me with information. So documents that we have on it, maybe previous proposals, SharePoint sites, all the kind of information that we typically would have surrounding this particular product. Now, potentially, I wanted to then create a pitch deck um, for one of our salespeople to go and present um, this control document to one of our customers. So you can see here, we've got this technical requirements document, which has got all the kind of technical product information about 
our control document system. I'm then going to copy the link, or I could reference it back in Copilot using the forward slash and then going into files and finding the file. Or if I wanted to, as I say, I can just copy the link um, directly into the chat. But I'm going to just say create a pitch deck. Um, basically create a pitch deck that can be used by our sales team from this document and i'm going to paste in the link of the document which is just that technical specification product sheet it's then going to do its best it's going to basically flag out what it thinks the slides would potentially look like um and this is my opportunity to refine it so if i don't like the look of things or if i wanted to change anything i could tell it say hey remove slide nine or add an additional slide about x y and z something like that but once i'm happy with it all i would then need to do is say please now turn this into a powerpoint document and it's going to take the above and then automatically create this based on powerpoint now if you've watched any of my other example videos on copilot um there are plenty of examples on our youtube channel of copilot but i've shown previously before creating powerpoint documents from word documents within powerpoint so you can just go to powerpoint if you wanted to and there's an option in copilot that says create a brand new document from uh sorry brand new, brand new presentation from a document i'm just showing you this from the copilot interface so that you can do it in both places as well so it's nice and easy no matter where you are you can use copilot interface as a central hub essentially to do this from now of course it's just created as a, a blank sort of document so i can go and add my company branding in there um, if you've got your company branding available um, shared in powerpoint you can just select that particular branding or as i say if you created this uh, presentation from within powerpoint if you were to do this as a starting point from within the powerpoint that is already branded it will automatically apply the branding on top of your um, presentation as well um, and then we have summarizing and faqs now this is actually a feature which is available in multiple areas of um, OneDrive and SharePoint and things like that. But you can select a particular document and you can ask it to be summarized. So you can see here we've got things like key features, uh, recommendations, things like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, and basically what we can then do is we can use this to sort of summarize the document, um, but also we can ask questions so we can almost create our own sort of faq so here i've asked does this product use version control so you're asking questions about this now this will be really useful for um say a salesperson who wants to understand products that they're selling better they can ask these product areas more questions you can also see i can generate an faq so say for example if we wanted to put this into a blog article or something like that we're just going to help boost the seo of our particular product um, because this is not content that's going to be found anywhere else on the internet, this potentially will not necessarily need as much editing um, as, say, for example, something that, that's been generated from not your own content before it goes onto like your public website. So we've generated this then, we've got our Q&A, all we would then need to do is sort of publish this um, wherever it is that we, we needed um, to share this with people. Now, I just want to ask, do subscribe to our channel. If you've enjoyed this video, there's plenty more uh, examples that you can find uh, on our channel. And by subscribing and turning on that uh, bell notifications, you will get notified by our weekly video updates. Um, also, if you want any professional services helping deploy and adopt Microsoft Copilot, there's a link in the description below to contact us.